Okay, YouTube modeling community, welcome back to my channel. First and foremost, thanks to all you guys that are subscribed to me. Without you, we can make this happen. Anyways, there's a challenge going around or something from Jason from Blue Ox Model Shops. So I decided to show you my shop, stash, whatever. He's got it on, so here's the outside door. My kitchen's over there. I got all. Anyways, when you first go in, you got. I share my room with all my carpenters and stuff instead of going downstairs all the time. So over here, I got a plethora of crap beside my 3D printer. I got tools over here, which I'm gonna eventually move. I got my, some Hot Wheels here. And you see my collection, my sticker collection, which I'm moving to the back of the door. I'm going to get a piece of white malamine, stick all you guys' stickers up there. It's an unfinished room. It used to be the old laundry room. We moved the laundry room over that way so I could have a hobby room. The other side over there is our pantry. So, anyways, so that's what you come into. Here's my some of my bike kits. Um, I got some crap in the way. We're doing uh, redoing the front with some uh, vinyl uh, railing. So that's in here because again, instead of putting it downstairs, I hope. So I'm gonna move this. Hopefully, move this cabinet in the corner and move this down. Give me a bit more room at the the doorway and. Um, Take, I'm going to take my bikes and I'm going to start using this as a display case. I'm running a room out there. Then it opens up the wall here a bit. I can put some more of my metal tins, my more Hot Wheels. So I got some Hot Wheels up there. My Batman collection from my daughter and so on and so forth. So this is what you're seeing when you come in. Down there is some of my 2K Clear, my Risen. Some of my bikes down in there. This stuff's in the way I can't show you. Um, this is my... That's the railing we're doing. So I'll get that out of the way. So you guys don't have to look at that. Um, where you, my airbrush stuff is. Let me pull up my chair so I can sit down. So I can get a better view for you guys. Okay, there you go. So there's my uh, mask and some gloves and puppy pads and some... Stuff for the 3D printer and just some junk there. Airbrush booth, which needs to be cleaned out. That's my paint mixer. I just leave it in the box so it doesn't get dirty, dusty. My homemade compressor with a... Well, the compressor is not homemade, but uh, the top is just from a refrigerator. It becomes silent because upstairs is the grandson's room. <laughs> Trash can, lacquer thinners. Some more stuff over here. Some more cabinets you guys seen. I got. Anyways, but in this cabinet, it's my airbrush cabinet. It's a small one. I keep my airbrushes in top and some supplies and cups and just filters and spoons. More filters and just overage. So then we come back up to the top. Painted parts and stuff go in there. Under plastic, yes, I know everybody says don't do that because it attracts dust. Um, and you're gonna get it, you're gonna get some dust in your clears and stuff like that, but they go in there first. They come from here, they get over there, they go in the dehydrator so they can cure a bit. Then I take them from there and I leave them in there so they can finish, can finish gassing out. I haven't had a whole lot of problem. Um, anyways, to each have their own, I suppose. There's some uh, Mr. Leveling Thinner, some alcohols, just some random stuff, junk, some paints that I tried before and I can make it work. Get across here. You have these cases from... Uh, um, I'm sure you guys can figure it out, but they're paint cases. You pull them out, you can hold um, Tamiya paints. Um, 
Mr. Hobby it holds a plethora of different paints. I changed them up because I asked to see if they would send me a unit to uh, do a review on. And they said, no, we only do people that's 10,000 uh, subscribers or more. And I said, well, what about the little guy? You know, little guys out there too. But they uh, basically told me to buy it and shut the fuck up and go on. Basically, they told me no. So there's my... Uh, so I said, you won't get no recognition from me. So anyways, that's my LP paint section with some overage on the top. And there's my to me, acrylics and so on and so forth. Some extras up there, some spray cans. And then you have just some Q-tips, pipettes, spoons ready to go that's primed, gloves, you know. Some just miscellaneous stuff up there. Like I said, down here is more more cabinets. I got um I can't get to them because I got this chair and my for my airbrush and I have two chairs in here. And sometimes my grandson's in here with me, so he likes to sit down. Anyways, I got my primers in bottles up there. I think I can open this one up. So we have our some Tamiya paints and our primers and stuff and so forth in there. Um, again, same thing, just some overage. That's where I put them. Extra pipettes and just stuff down there. Same again here. It's just like, instead of have random stuff everywhere, it's kind of nicely organized. Um, some metal paints, stuff, um, alclads that I've taken out of the bottles and added to me. I saved my Tamiya bottles and this is my, uh, my painting stuff, so I'll paint from there, and I'll put my my stuff here, I'll show you like this, It'll be painted, and I'll just stick it in there, you know, my wife made me this one, because you could buy them, but heck, we had cardboard here, and made it for free, so this is a part holder, and once, while well, it's drying, quickly just throw it in there, if I'm going to use them, uh, close them up, and then just some more, oops, random stuff, you know, down there, underneath the desk, just some, this is where I keep all my tubs for carrying stuff, and extra stuff, and my NASCAR build, which is still right there, but I am working on it from time to time, Jeff, just saying, when I did the remodel, I, um, uh, there's one of those cabinets. This one's from my wife. I did buy an extra one. And for her to craft room downstairs. So she could put her knives and weeding tools and all that kind of stuff together. Under the bench, I put my mat and my rulers and stuff. This used to be my paints. It used to be in here. I have my gravity and splash paints in here. Yes, gravity colors from Spain. Not, and some more. Mr. Hobby stuff and Mr. Hobby paints. Then I have catch all of my detail parts, detailing stuff, you know, stuff that Tom helped me get and stuff like that. And other model builders have helped me throughout the years. Tape drawer and my D SK decals in there. Just an overage of stuff my sanding stuff that i use for sanding the model before and after clear coat just extra extra cheap nippers and yeah all my tamiya screwdrivers that you get from the bikes i'm just two-way tape and stuff like that in there and then you come up across the the bench it's not uh completely completely cleaned off i try to keep it clean off but anyways i got some uh, Japanese bike magazines, which are handy to have. Um, just some stuff. There's my um, Mustang group build. Underneath is my other GT40. They're one of my award. I built them and I got awards for them in two different shops. There's the up there. Two different shows. The two awards I got. Uh, another bike case I got to put a. Put together 
me and my grandson at the fire hall. Yes, I'm a volunteer firefighter for 15 years. Um, a couple of just plastic skulls. I was playing around with painting one of them, and he loves it. So when he comes in, he's got to have the two of them. Um, as you can see, just some of the kits I'm working on right there. I just put them here. So they're close. I had these trash cans bolted up underneath here, and I would put my stuff in, my screwdrivers in there until I got the rest of these. These cases here. So I raised my shelf, and I could put my glues and stuff up under there. One of the bikes we're building is in here. I believe it is the uh, motorcycle group building this one. Mark's... One me and Mark are doing has been put on hold because, again, I told them once I start the motorcycle group build, everything gets put on hold. Uh, I did do this kit as um, one of our buddies there. You guys know him as Jeff. He says it's not a kit. Model kit. I did paint mine in some various metal colors so it doesn't look plasticky toyish, Jeff. Um, so that's the one up there. I just got my new model cars magazine. I haven't even opened it. It's up there So this is kind of my workspace where I sit at right now This is what you see I got a couple of my and Jeff again, and I got my couple of my builds up there and Charlie Mac a couple more don't look at those they're for the group build this year my buddy build with old Tom I have a nice man collection motor. I have a couple more <clears throat> sitting at a friend of mine's house. He'll ship them when I'm ready. There's some more of these cabinets. They're not full. I got one more to build for myself unless I give it to my wife. I'll put it over there for some more catch-alls. Eggplant group build. I'm getting ready to um, tackle some more decals. The rims for, I believe this is for the motorcycle group build of a uh, note, uh, Rambler 69, some decals my wife made me. I see some stuff on you guys' channels. I think I've seen this one on Jason's. Hang in there. It gets worse. i seen that. She prints me off some of these. I don't know. She finds them on the, then she makes stickers. I'm going to send this on to my buddy Charlie. You know Charlie. He likes skulls and spiders. Anyways, a lot. So they're going in the sticker bucket where I got to get that piece so I can do some more up there again. So up down here, we got uh, <clears throat> this cabinet here. And this is how it goes for this cabinet. So the project I'm working on is not like it's out of the blue. It's just, just a, it's, what kit is that? It's the, the Corvette kit up there. I got two more. But it's the de I'm doing the um, carbon fiber decal set on this one. So I do it as I... Come on. Oh, it's, trust me, it's carbon fiber. Oh, this maybe that side's not done yet. Duh. This side's almost is done. So, here you go. We're doing that. We're not in a big hurry. We just something. When I feel like decaling, the rest of the parts are down there. So they sit inside. So nothing gets lost. The next drawer is the remainder parts of. Uh, <clears throat> so it's the third car. So the remainder parts of two, four GTs. The other one is, if you didn't notice, was sitting over there primed, where I'm doing the wet sand. The rest of the parts are in here, so they don't get lost. The engines and that you'll see that later on. The next drawer up is again calipers and. A rider that a Valentino rider. It's like finger condoms instead of wearing gloves all the time, just to fingertips. My daughter got me those. Um, again, here's the parts from these two drawers will become the top priority builds. This is just extra carbon fiber decals that you know come off the sheet. Instructions sit in here. Some sandpapers I don't use a whole lot of. Over here becomes. What I do here is these two bins are for the Rambler 69 group build. The pieces, the tins in that are behind me. So this one's almost ready to go. I believe that's the rotors over there. I got to repaint because I messed them up. Um, 
But little stuff in here with notes. You know, this is for the YZ one. This is the one with the buddy build that I'm doing with Mark. Some more parts. Again, this, I think this is the one I'm doing with Mark. And then this is the one for the motorcycle group build. So that's that. You got a uh, tool section up here. Tapes. Some more glue. Some enamel paste I use for a little, you know, just stuff. You gotta have your speaker. You got my... <clears throat> Uh, coffee warmer because I'm going to do some more decals. Normally that goes up there. Your airbrush cleaner slash to me a glue thin glue. Just a plethora of stuff. As we go up here, I have a plethora of hockey cards. I do have hockey card collection. Uh, some old builds in there. And they believe that's the uh, coffin car from... The Dragula from Monsters, some polishing stuff up there. Two cuts my son was gifted from old Tom Round 69. He built one already. And Rusty K sent him that green one. I had that one before, but he does have to glue it, so I'm saving it for him. My Kenworth K100, which I'm working on. A bunch of stuff up here. All my extra parts for my airbrushes and so on and so forth. Uh, up there we have two boxes for the printers we have some more bikes one six scale bike up there some more bikes up there another one six harley that's the police bike up there parts from that one went into that one which are still in there almost finished the nova is almost finished we all have these kits this that's my uh started kit decals were starting to crack so i'm not too sure if i'm gonna finish it as a or make it a dirt rally car anyways that's where your guys' shop cards are sitting right now because i haven't got the wall space yet <laughs> again some stuff i'm working on that bike there just some detailing parts up here the three kits that i'm working on there which hopefully all this is going to come down and out so I can put all my motorcycles from that cabinet up here. That's the plan. Because they fit in there nicely. At least this one does. Anyways. Um, that one's almost together. It's just. Uh, that one has got to restrip the body. Something happened to it. Just some of my over. Here's some of my kits I have. I have. Bumblebee in there. I have. Mm, Op no Optimus Prime. I've starstruck. I don't know these guys. My wife's into Transformers. My eggplant group build. A couple of more Mustangs. The kit that Jason and I traded for. I was gonna do that one for my Porsche build. That one there is eventually supposed to go up underneath the desk here. A couple of Batmobiles I picked up at the Cranagon show from Mike's Mods and Customs. Just some kits up there <clears throat> that uh that's the last of my 10 or 12 wheelies that i had a 29 unopened 30 unopened no a 29 and a 30 unopened opened um as you can see 67 chevelle the, the one that uh jason from blue ox gifted me unopened unopened I have the blazing one, orange blossom I just picked up. I picked that one up at the Karanagarat show. So I do have some older ones there that I'm planning on building. I'm not a collector. But guys, that's my uh my setup. This is where I have where most of this is all because there's a couple of shop cards I gotta do. Put the, the crap away. And it's most all most of all the time this is always cleaned off because the speaker goes up there when I'm playing or listening to the podcast. From Jason and that, those that crowd, and then I can work freely in this area. <laughs> but guys, thanks for watch. Oh, in my light up here, I just sorry, I, I put it on a slider so I can slide it in and out because you know we are getting older. I need more light sometimes over my desk. My clamps going to utilize some of the space up here. You know, put my uh, remotes here. Something my grandson made me up here. In his fancy picture he made for me up there. So 
my TV. That's about it, guys. And then back around to here, just to catch all the crap. Some modeling stuff, some hockey card stuff, some barbecue stuff. You gotta have your my back deck is right out that way. So I'm not putting all this stuff downstairs, which I have to go halfway across the house. No way. Only entrance to the basement is down the front of the house. So this is my room. So nobody's allowed in here except me and the. It's the boys' club. No girls allowed. But uh, we're going to get a sheet hanging up there for you guys. Stickers. But, anyways, guys, thanks for watching, subscribing. Leave comments. Like, dislike what you didn't like. Maybe I can change it. Anyways, thanks for watching and have a great day.